In this video, I'm taking you to Saint Louis, the former colorful capital of Senegal, as well as Lompoul Desert. You can do this without a lot of checks. Oh, look what I found! In the previous video, I showed you the highlights of Dakar including Gori Island and two amazing day trips to Pandya Reserve and Pink Lake. If you want to find out more, click on the link above. Bonjour from Senegal! In this video, I will take you to St. Louis, the desert of Lompoul. Now I am on the way, stopping at Thiers, trying on this cute local hat called Tangare, and then we are heading forward. So we've stopped here because it's super colorful, everything here. So this region is famous for this these hats and there's tons of these beautiful potteries all this is for incense the drive is about four hours from Dakar to Saint Louis and we are halfway through so we're gonna continue let's go I just got to St. Louis and the drive that was supposed to take four hours actually took five and a half. And when we entered the city, there were two policemen who stopped us separately. And I think they were just looking for some money. They usually do that according to uh, my guide when you are from Dakar. Luckily, everything was in order, so we were allowed to go. But yeah, first impressions, it's really nice. It's really colorful. Um, I just got some food and now I'm gonna get a little bit of rest before we go out. Let me show you where I'm staying, it's really cute. It's a really beautifully refurbished building and it's so soothing as well, especially with the heat outside. I'm gonna get some rest and then we start exploring. Now I want the brown ones. How do I look? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yes. I'm good? Thank you. So I broke my glasses yes. and I'm buying new ones now. I don't know how, to, how I look like. Yeah? I just take your word for it. I'm gonna haggle this, see you in a bit. I think these look good, right? Yeah. Alright, I'll take it. I'm ready to explore St. Louis. Okay, so this city used to be the French capital as well as the first capital of Senegal before it was moved to Dakar. And you will see the influence, you know, the French influence throughout. The buildings are really colorful, old style, and we'll explore that later. But I wanna tell you a little bit about this. And this is the bridge of St. Louis, quite a pride of this area, and rightfully so. I mean, look at it, it's over Senegal River, it's quite majestic. So that side of the city is a new one. When you cross into the, the, this little island, this is where you will see everything that's colonial. You cross over to the next side, the bigger island. That's all fishermen. And there's a little beach that we will explore. So the bridge, a little bit of a curiosity. Some people attribute it to uh, Gustav Eiffel, the same guy who did Eiffel Tower. But I'm not sure how accurate this is, but it's a beautiful bridge nonetheless. Let's check it out and then we go to the beach because yeah, the sun is going down and I want to see a beautiful sunset here. I am at Plage Sal Sal or the Sal Sal Beach and it might not be the prettiest of beaches. It's actually quite busy with the local boys playing football. But I came here for this. This is the border of Senegal and Mauritania. If I walk that way in a kilometer, I will be in Mauritania. I'm gonna tell you a little bit of secret. You can do this without a lot of checks. But since I am a good um, law-abiding citizen, I'm not gonna do that. Let's go check out the sunset. The sunset was beautiful as it always is in Africa. 
But the highlight was meeting these kids who were super excited about my drone. We had a great time. I'm gonna get some rest after this and see you in the morning when we start exploring the colorful colonial side of this island. Bonjour! I am fresh and ready to explore this beautiful island. Let's go around together, starting with this treasure trove of a place. So it's called the Gallery Tiranga and it is really beautiful. I, I can't take any of this back home with me, but it's so beautiful to just come and look around and the, the shopkeepers here, they're really, really nice and friendly. So I love it. Let me show you around a little bit and then we start walking around. I'm sure you want to find out some more exciting, amazing places to visit. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so I can bring you some more. Usually I go around on my own, but I have some help now. Hello. He's a sexy who is going to take me around and we are going on this horse carriage. So let's start. So starting on the north side, which is the business district, it still has some old buildings, but most of them are being renovated. Another really cool place I found was the mosque that came with the bell tower because the French didn't want to listen to the call for prayer that Muslims do, so they just installed some bells. I am on the fisherman's village side, and this side is really lively. Quite different to the island on the other side. I'm really happy I did the tour, otherwise I would have totally missed it. This place is chock full of children because apparently the more you have, the bigger boat you will have because they will help you. And for that reason, it's super busy, super lively, really colorful, and obviously not as developed because this is a fisherman's village. This is the northern part of the town. It is more colonial. It used to be a more residential part and it was also more Christian. This is where you will find most of the interesting colorful buildings from the older times. Oh, look who I found! The most unusual resident of St. Louis. This is Galai and he's really happy here because he loves all the fish that he gets here. Oh, he's adorable. And he's super chilled. I am with Mara, who's my guide here, and he's really knowledgeable. So definitely recommend doing the tour because um, there's so many things that I would have completely missed out, like going to the fisherman village or you know, um, the mosque with an actual bell tower. That's the first I've ever seen. So, highly recommend coming here, doing the carriage tour. It's really good. The whole town of Saint Louis is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, which comes with its own set of complications, especially around refurbishment, building, planning, etc. And the locals are just not wealthy enough to be able to afford all that. So it's slowly being taken over by foreigners, but it's shaping up to be quite a nice, lively place. Also, it used to be the capital for not only Senegal, but also Mauritania as well. And it had a pretty bad role when it came to slave trade. A lot of the slaves were sent from here all the way to Gory Island near Dakar and then shipped to Louisiana and the USA. Time to say goodbye to Saint Louis and I'm heading to the Lompoul Desert. Super excited because I love camping in the desert and also the night sky. So I hope the weather is good. The sky looks clear and it will take about an hour and a half. Um, one more thing, you need to book with your camp in advance. You can't just turn up because you will park your car and you need to meet your host like I am. And then we basically go to the desert on their car. So let's go. It took about an hour and a half to get from Saint Louis to the Lompoul Desert Pickup Point on a really nice road.
We just got to the village and it's time to head inside the desert. Let's go! This is our right. Senegal is really colorful and fun, but you need to come here fully prepared. So I created a playlist for you that has food, travel and itinerary suggestions, as well as a lot more destinations. Click on the link above to find out more. It's great to be back in the desert and I'm going to be honest, this is the best organized camp I've been to so far and I've been to a fair few, including Jordan and Oman. So I'm quite happy with this. The tent is really nice. They have an outdoor shower. Why am I telling you? Let me show you around. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick nap while you do that and then I'll show you what else we can do here. This is going to be home for tonight. Let's go check it out. Oh, that was an amazing shower. Let's go check out the desert now. Lopol is quite a small desert with only an area of 18 square kilometers, but what it lacks in size, it completely covers when it comes to beauty. It has sand dunes that go all the way up to 50 meters. I don't know what it is about the deserts and the seas, they really calm me down. And I'm really happy, you know, um, so I just came to this little dune to, you know, explore around a little bit and to see the sunset, obviously. Let's check it out together. Yeah. Africa is amazing when it comes to sunsets, but this is another level. And I just realized this is actually my first desert sunset experience in Africa. And I think I need to do a lot more of these. Look at that beautiful sky. The sun might have gone down, but there's another beautiful surprise waiting. Let's go check it out. Is it really a trip to the desert if you don't gaze the stars in the night sky? Well, this is the Lumpul is serving tonight. Good morning. I had an amazing night. It was so peaceful, so calm. Actually got pretty cold last night, so I'm really happy that uh, there was no fan around. You honestly don't need air conditioning here at least. Uh, I'm gonna get ready. I'm ready to go. Just wanted to say hello to these cuties. You can't do camel riding. And also they have ATVs you can drive around in the desert. I saw kids doing it and I think that's the demographic for that sort of stuff. So I'm gonna stay clear. My driver's here, let's get going. That's all from the colorful St. Louis and the beautiful Lumpool Desert. I'm taking my flight back to London and next time I'm taking you to a really underrated country. I'm talking about Panama. Click on the link above and check my playlist. This is Brown Boy Travels. I really hope you like this video. Do let me know in comments what you think. Please do add me on Instagram and TikTok. I do post some pretty cool stuff there as well. I will see you in another beautiful destination in the next video. Until then, you have a lovely day ahead. Bye.